Hey, what's up, you guys? I know I haven't uploaded a video in a couple weeks, but I got one today. So this is a my 03 Ram 1500 that had a 4.7, now has a 5.7. And everything's done to it already. Um, the last video, I think I told you guys I had to do the engine mount. So just got that welded yesterday and today i actually um went and got a, a muffler installed on the truck i didn't put nothing too loud so just something that makes a little bit of noise and uh i had ordered some new headlights and those just came in so i'll show well, i'll be showing probably at the end another little clip how it looks and um oh yeah and then um i did a few little modifications or upgrades to the engine i had a i bought a and n and a uh throttle body spacer from air aid i actually got both used from off rub it's a site where you buy and sell. I will show you guys. And yes, that made a lot of difference of horsepower on the truck. As you can tell, can and filters right there. And the throttle body spacer, it's somewhere back there. But yeah, um, it sounds good. You could hear it whistle. It performs. The truck performs better. And other other than that, I mean, yes, you gain horsepower. It says you could um, save gas, but um, I super doubt it. <laughs> but um, yeah, it sounds wonderful. I will show you guys how it sounds right now. So I already drove the truck. It's not going to be a cold start, but you guys get an idea of uh, how it sounds. So it doesn't sound too bad when it's even on at idle. Nothing too aggressive, something good. Sounds good, I like it. I mean, I got ins I got the muffler installed for 80 bucks. I had the muffler laying around the house, so I said, why not put it on, you know? Makes it sound, the truck sound a little bit better and look better, you know? But yeah, that's how it sounds. All right, so to take off the front headlights, it's really easy. This is what you will need. Either electric drill or a ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, and a pick. A pick, so you can get these out if you have them or not. I will show you where the screws are at. There's only three. There's one, two, and the third one all the way. Uh, let me show you. Down there. I think the right, the left side, you can see it better. Show you guys better. Right there. So once you take those off, you pop up the headlight. You have your two bulbs to disconnect and uh, just swap them besides this side. I don't know if all the trucks do have them or not, but the sensor is connected to your headlight. But once you take off the screw, it comes off right off. Just remember to put it back on. As you can tell, your headlight and your turn signal. I have extra wires run, running through here because I have underglow on my truck and I have this grill light. I'll show you my underglow so you guys can see. I have two of them. They're white, so at night they turn on, just lights up 
I run the tire pretty nice. I'll probably show you guys a video or I'll post a picture of it so you guys can see it. But yeah, it's very simple. Three screws, 10 millimeter socket. Oh, an extension just so you can reach to the one that goes all the way back here. That's it. But other than that, it's pretty easy. Uh, no, but you guys could do it. So these are the headlights I got from eBay. Uh, I think I paid them. I paid seventy-two dollars with all shipping and taxes. Um, obviously they're different compared to the stock ones. They don't have the amber yellow on the side of the blinger. These are all clear, and they're smoked. So hopefully it looks good on the truck. And um, oh. Should keep showing you guys another video until I install them and see if you guys wait. Tell me, you guys, what you guys think about them. What else I should do to the truck as well? I mean, there's I think there's still a lot of stuff we could do to it, but um, little by little, I'll keep adding things to it. So, this is the finished installation on both headlights. Looks pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Little, they're smoked out. As well as the turn signal. They did come with he, uh, turn signal bulbs. Not headlights, but that's fine. Because I have um, LED. I think the next step is uh, to change the grill. Just don't know which one though. There's a lot of many of them to choose from. I would like to change the grill, I mean the bumper as well, because of the fact when I got this truck, they had a crash stiff right here in the corner. Nothing major, but it did bend the corner of the bumper in, as you can tell right here in the fog light. It's missing the cover as well. I have it there, but I can't get it to fit in because of the fact that it has that little bump right there. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. I do have tow mirrors with turn signal lights on them. I actually have um, 22 by 14 with 37s. And this is the inside how it looks. This is the SLT model with the black leather seats inside. I do wish the ceiling was black as well and the plastics. Just like my F-150 Harley-Davidson. That one's black on black. Good thing the carpet's black as well. I'm going to look and see if uh, they sell the ceiling. Or if another truck comes with black ceiling. To swap it out. I'd love to do that. I do have a sound system. I have two 10s DC audio. They're 600 RMS each. I have a JL Audio, a thousand by one. And then I have an Epicenter right under this amp. This for my highs. I am, I don't know if I'm gonna install it or not. Cause I will have to run wires all around to all the doors. So I'm still thinking about that. I do have a doubled in, in um, dual. Um, it, connects, it connects to my phone and uh, you could actually, you could control it from there. Um, I do have tow bags in the back as well. They don't have air at the moment. Um, I just, oh yeah, like I was telling you guys, I just took it to get to the muffler shop and got mufflers. I did add a toolbox in the back. I have a, a tank and an air compressor in the back and I have the outlet back over here. It's a cool little feature to have. My tow hitch. I have the back rail on the back of the bed. I'm probably thinking of tinning the brake lights. I don't know if I want to change them. Uh, i probably end up spray painting them. That's what I did to my F-150. As well, I need a back bumper because when I got it as well, I don't know the previous owner, what they did right here. Oh yeah, do they have the 
got the fender flares as well. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, I was gonna let you guys know that my um, the cold air intake that I got from Off Rub obviously was used. Um, I got them from the uh, the uh, throttle body spacer, and the cold air intake I got them from the same person, and I actually paid a hundred bucks for both, and I think that's a that was a great deal, because normally I think the throttle body spacer is like a hundred and sixty, and the K and N air filter almost 300 bucks so to me i think that was even that was a good deal for 100 bucks for both even though they're used i don't care the most important thing i think is uh the air filter actually that one i'm gonna go to the auto parts and um get the air cleaner filter and give it a little good clean but yeah you guys that's about it oh yeah i mean i don't know if you guys even care but i do have limo tea all around the truck um, not much I will post another video um, maybe I'll order something else the grill maybe I don't know uh, just let me know what you guys would like to see and I'll try to do my best on putting out some videos for you guys thanks